It's a unique hustle, nigga. Big shit. Big shit. Big shit. Big shit. Huh. Name another podcast like this. Check it, check it, check it. This is Unique Hustle. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm with the lovely, amazing official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Not none of your number, Dale. Walk man, on. hey, man. Thanking God I woke up this morning. We are on the set, man. We are going, it's going down. Woo-wee. Man, we got two guys in here, man. Y'all, they don't need no introduction, man. They've been around for a while, man, doing things that have really ooh and odd the city for a long time now, man. Young Nation is in the building. Ah, uh, yes. And it's going down. Ah, uh, yeah. Man, these boys right here, man, they caused a whole bunch of problems, wore a whole bunch of long tees back in the <laughs> days, my nigga. I know these uh-huh. boys right here. Man, when it, and, and I used to hear y'all was from Mesquite. I ain't gonna lie, that's what nigga was saying. Hey, they from Mesquite. I'm like, no, nah, they from Duncanville. Man, yeah. y'all was every damn where. We, we was just everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Doing pep Fact. rallies and, and, and stuff like that. Wow, man. Like, so you guys, man, um, to be real with you, man, um, I like, uh, we like to get into the backstory. So I know, Mr. Maker, how you doing? I'm good. Man. I'm ready to go. Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, let's talk to him, man. Okay. We got who you going with, Fame, or, or, or who you going with? Which one you going to go with? The one closest to me. Oh, that's Fame. Yes. Well, happening? So I'd like to know, because our audience like to know where you're from, how you were raised, mother, dad, grandparents, as far back as you can remember. We want to know the whole shebang. All right. I'm from Dallas. Hey. Better known as Oak Cliff. Okay. Then I moved to... The other side of Oak Cliff, <laughs> uh, and grew up around this guy too. So, because I'm pretty I much like Wheeling Road, sixty-seven. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Sixty-seven, exit Wheeling, boom, that punch house. That's See? me. Because I always thought that Oak Cliff was like South Dallas, where it was dangerous and all of that. But then when he taped me and riding through, I'm like, some of these big old houses down here. I'm like, this don't look like no right. hood. Yeah, but it's like I'm. I, I, I stay on the edge of. Oak Cliff and Duncanville, and like Duncanville. right there, sixty-seven. Okay, so what was that Wheaton. area like? Yeah, it was amazing. It was amazing. What uh, made it so amazing? Just it was just that era, you know. Like we really did different things in that area. We we really what made the world is what it is now. It was fun. It was fun. It was fun. Brothers, sisters. Yep. You the oldest, youngest? Uh, yeah, I'm the oldest brother. Oldest brother. Mm-hmm. So a lot of responsibilities fell on your shoulders. Yep. Oh, okay, how did the but pressure feel? My, my my little sisters, they made it easy. They make it easy, <laughs> breezy. <laughs> but you be the big brother, always checking in with them, like checking in oh, with yeah. the guys that I they talk the to, all of that. You act like a daddy. My sister just got married. One of my sisters just got married. Oh, so congratulations yeah, you know to I mean? her. Yeah, I got two little sisters in New Orleans. Mm-hmm. My little babies, man, they they getting grown though. Like thirteen. Oh. oh. And mom and dad lived together while you were being raised? No, my mom and dad been beefing since before I hit the earth. Really? Yeah. Right, right. But your dad was in your life, right? Mm-hmm. That's good. He was in prison for a minute, but he got out and, you know, started being the father that he could be. That's good. I like to see, although we know, we're grown now, so we know that men and women don't always agree and mm-hmm. always, you not always have that perfect relationship where you can be in that same household together. That's but true. I always feel like a man needs to be a man and still be a part of their kid's life. Mm-hmm. And not just, you know, deuces, you do you, I can't deal with her type of thing. I don't believe in that. So I'm happy that he was a part of your life. So when did you start thinking about music? Oh, uh, when my dad got out of prison, I was like seven or eight. Seven or eight. And he used to take me to uh, Rack Daddy's. Mm. Right there on Camp Wisdom. And I was the only kid that could get in there. Uh, because of your daddy. Yeah, he was cool to own us. So <laughs> that's when I started rapping in front of people. And then me and this guy was on the same basketball team. Okay. So we used to make the songs at his house. And then it just, it's just it been going for a long time. I love to see a group or people who can be together for a long time because I've seen so many groups who always end up arguing and breaking up because of disagreements, girls, whatever it is. Right, it's right. always something or management, whatever. But if you can stick together through it, that's amazing because you don't see it very often. Man, hold up. B. Reed, what's up, that's baby? True. That's true. What's going down, boss? Man, you, you hanging out today with Boss Talk 101 where the bosses talk. 
Man, you know say, what I'm saying? Yes, Lord. <laughs> say, man. So, I mean, how was it for you, man, coming up? I mean, I know already. I heard about yeah. it. Yeah, you know what but, I'm saying? Uh, yeah, it was it was it was similar, just like that. That he ain't miss out on too much of nothing, really. You know, we went to Duncanville High School, you know, and we used to play basketball at the high school together. Grew up playing sports together. You know, rapping for the whole team at halftime and stuff like that. What position you played in basketball? In basketball, I was like shooting guard. You know really? But you tall. Why are you yeah. Why are you playing shooting guard and not I, like a, a but, forward uh, or center? Well, not a yeah. center because you're not. But, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I was. Uh, you know, they did switch my position that I think yeah. about it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, from uh, shooting guard, they moved me to uh, power forward. Yeah, you that's what I, mean? I would think. Yep. Because you tall. Sure so Did they move him to shooting guard though? Because I don't know. He, nah, he, he wasn't did. missing nothing really. He looked like he could be a center. <laughs> hey, hey, this center got a hell of a three on him. Hey, oh, centers really? can shoot these yeah, days. I can shoot. They yeah. should only take it to the hoop. That's it. They don't That's be it, shooting. Though. They used nah, to do I that back in the day. These days, what they be doing? Pulling up. Yeah. Long up. Hey, but no, just just the fact of you guys being in that area, um, and 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 the uh, the uh, the way that. Uh, you guys came up. So how was it like, like, I seen you nigga dancing, y'all were dipping and moving and nigga, y'all niggas was the first one. It was another cat, Emmanuel and them and uh, mm -hmm. Taylor Gabriel, Taylor who was about y'all age. They used to do it. Mm -hmm. They all used to be in this store mm -hmm. and they used to be doing that same little old dance. I didn't, Taylor didn't, but it was Emmanuel. Emmanuel he thought he was, he was gonna be a, a damn dancer. dancer. The nigga was here, doctor now, but right. mm. at the end of the day, that was during that same era. This store was here, and they was they was rocking. It's been with fifteen years. This store, Man, yeah, eighteen like, years now. Let's go. Yeah, mm -hmm. like our first paid show on the road was like what, like seventeen, eighteen years old. So it was like that's a lie. It was, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> first show, we was thirteen. We went to nah, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Well, nah, not thirteen. More yeah, because like, y'all lied 13. a while ago. Because y'all said now no, one in, in, in one 13. video, but like y'all said y'all quit school in thirteen. Right. Yeah, I, yeah. Now how in the hell you start playing basketball? Right. I, I, I got you now. You feel me? He uh he quit school at thirteen. He really did though, but. Far as me, like Man, he got kicked out nah, for selling weed at thirteen. We both nah. was out of school at the same time. Nah, I went out of school. <laughs> me and his nigga was right. together. I, I went he out of school, he yeah. went to uh, you know the you, you the moved to Atlanta. That you he to? moved to Atlanta for like a few years. He ain't tell y'all that part. Okay, you know yeah, he yeah. went to Atlanta. I was out there. Doom, doom, doom. See what I'm saying? Yeah. He was out there. Yeah, he was out there pushing a young nation, uh, thug about yeah, nation you know music. What you know what I'm saying? That's why when people call yeah, us Texas so. legends, I respect it, I love oh, it, I yeah. appreciate y'all, but we really worldwide. Shout out to Atlanta, played a big part of young nation career. Yeah, I be in zone six at the Texaco. Right. Like, yeah, like, we be outside out there. Like, shout out to College Park. Like, you know, y'all like, was right after the, <laughs> stank, the, the stanky leg boys. Y'all was right after that, wasn't you? Yeah, but uh. The first page show, he right. It was like, what, 15, 16? No, we was 13. 13. He keeps saying 13. No, He's sticking 13. to his guns. Well, probably for 13. him, not for me. Oh, yeah. Not for me. For, so, okay. okay so, so you, you did yours by yourself at 13. Yeah, like, I was he in school. He couldn't go. Before. Yeah, I was in school. He was oh, still in school. That's yeah. what happened. He couldn't go to the first show that we uh -huh. actually had. Well, it was two weeks ago. How did you get that show in the first place? God did. <laughs> they didn't believe in me. <laughs> I told my mom, I said, Mom, yeah. we about to go crazy. I told, like, I told your mom. Yeah, because be being a mom, being a mom, you finish, you not even finished school, but you stopped school at 13, and you say you finna do this rap thing, I'd have been throwing a fit. Mm -hmm. How did your mom handle it? So, to be honest, what happened was, the show, the first show that we had, um, his his parents didn't let him go because right. it was a Sunday night oh, type shit. Right, that was back then. And... Uh, <laughs> My mama was like, shit, if you if you go to the show, mm -hmm. you're gonna come back home to a flight. I'm sending you to New Orleans to your dad. Mm. So, of course me, she go to sleep, I walk <laughs> out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I come back to a first class ticket. <laughs> she held her part of the bargain. To New Orleans, but then, you know, come to find out, my dad moved back to Atlanta mm. from New Orleans. At that time, he was living in New Orleans for a minute. So then, you know, I went to Atlanta. She they shipped me out. But so I, how did you So did you go back to school In Atlanta No That dropped out Nah it would, so I was living You would think that she would You would think that She would send you to say Okay your dad going to Straighten you out You going to no, go back what, to that, school that's, and what that. that's what she thought Was going to happen But you know Me being me We already had some motion Out there So I had made a few calls When I got there And I'll never forget As soon as I got there To Atlanta I was in Zone 6 area And My partner came And got me Escalade on 24 mm. Man and you know this was at them 13. days. Yeah, but this was like probably like when I was turning fourteen. 14. Though this wow. was more on the fourteen end. But yeah, 
I never forget. That's after crazy. That, it he was did up. leave. He did leave for a while. I was, so I was, <laughs> you left and you were still here. So when did y'all link back up? Well, you know, I uh, actually stayed in school for like two more years after that. You know, I ain't. So you really, didn't finish. I didn't finish really. Either. That's when he you said know, you got kicked out because yeah. of selling weed. Yeah, I didn't get kicked out of school till my tenth grade. Yeah, though. But y'all were Thug Boss Nation during this time. Uh huh. Yes. Yeah. Who came up with the name? Uh, we actually those was our OGs. Like my mm-hmm. big bros was Thug Boss Nation, and mm-hmm. that's when <laughs> but y'all was together. All y'all was in the same. Yeah, it was. It was. It was a whole. It was like fifty niggas. Oh wow. Mm-hmm. It was a gang, and y'all all was hanging out and basically dancing and you know doing your thing at that time. Dancing, Man. fighting, studio. <laughs> yeah. Dancing, we fighting. Had, we had dancers. It was niggas that said that they, if you see them coming, don't, don't let, if they're close to your house, don't let them in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh-uh. I'm being real, yeah. Mm-hmm. Man, uh, I still be with you. Y'all were that bad? Y'all were that bad? I mean, I was a good guy. They I, call it, I call it ignorant. <laughs> we were just young and dumb, but it really wasn't me and him. We was Me and him was always like the little bros that they looked mm. out for, and I appreciate that to this they day. They do they dirt and but bring it back to us. You say <laughs> ignorant. You say ignorant. So if you see a kid right now, 13, 14, going through the same situation and acting the same way how you did when you was younger, how would you advise that kid? I'd say, man, tighten up, sharpen up. We got to get it. This ain't going to help you. Because all, all my partners we were with, they nah, all in I'm going to ask him. I'm going to ask him. Are you sure this is what you want to do? No, I said, no, are you, are you sure? Reed, you would be the one to ask something like that because, uh, from what I heard, you got you got hit by, by a, str- uh, a bullet that wasn't for you down in that. Let's talk about that exactly. for a minute. Yep. I want to talk about how that night something was. That that, I mean, break that down to me. How you you out? You trying to do something that your career? Who's at a show too? That's that what I'm saying. Just break it all the way down. What was together. going on together? And then okay. I want to know what was going on in your mind during that time. Okay, uh, you know, my I brought the whole gang with me. They was living with us, so we. We brought him with me and fame to the show. You know what I'm saying? Darrell was helping us and everything back then. But like, Darrell had moved us into our own spot. So we all went to this show, in, uh, like right on the outskirts of Dallas in the country. What was it? What that? We ain't gonna say the same. No, I don't say the same. It wasn't there. I ain't gonna say the city. Okay. I don't even it's, remember the city. It's still, it's still a lot of up in there. It's oh, an okay. open case still, but uh, it's still well, open I, case. That's, that's, out of here, that's a long time. It's yeah. not an open case, it's but crazy. it's just like the nigga that did it went to jail, and we. I mean, I'm still gonna get him though. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? But like I said, this nigga went to jail. This nigga went to jail for four pounds of crack. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So the nigga went to jail for four pounds of crack. All right, let's talk about it. The nigga that let it happen went to high school with me, right? Okay. Okay. I'm gonna get him. So uh, just tell me, like, what was it? He was shooting at him? Nah, like, he was on our side at the show. He was all good. You know, my partners, they were talking to some girls. I don't know, some random stuff. Then they, I saw them getting each other face. Yeah. All of them, my homies that I brought with me and some more people from the, from that city. They was in each other face. I'm like, what are they doing? So, you know what I'm saying? Fame was like, let's go, let's go. But me being who I am, I like, nah. So Fame followed me over there too. You know what I'm saying? And it went down after that. Like, I started swinging, swinging pool balls, pool mm-hmm. sticks at them. They this after to, you had got shot? Nah, this, was, right, before. this was before. They was trying to reach in their pocket and grab it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so he, he trying, trying to stop, stop them. It. Yeah, I was like, bow, bow, hitting the ass with some rock bottles, all type of stuff. Mm-hmm. And then we went outside to the car. We got in the car. You know what I'm saying? Like, 20 niggas following us. They got their straight like, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? We running to the car, matter of fact. Then they just start letting off fireworks wow. at us. You know when did, and you know? were in the car with him? No, nah, we was in a different car. I had that fire right. in the car, but yeah, they so told was, us it was a teen show, so don't come in the club with the guns. And it was a teen show. It, it was wow. a teen show. But it was, it was the it. older niggas in that hoe hating like they big brother. So it's low key with some setup shit, cause nigga, I perform at yeah. that moment and even then before that, I perform with guns in my pocket. Like yeah, was, I don't play what, like that. So. What did you? Where were your mind stayed at when you got hit? Like when it. When that cause it, uh, I didn't, say, I didn't bullets be hot. They feel burn adrenaline rush. I didn't feel it until uh, you know, we pulled over like like twenty minutes back from the house uh, downtown. Yeah, and then Fane them said, "Get out the car real quick. You bleeding from your uh, side." I'm like, "Really? You didn't even realize you was bleeding." No. I didn't realize because my homie he just got struck in the face with a pool ball. My homie feel the real. Okay, got hit in the face. So I'm like, "Damn, we got we got to take him to the hospital." I ain't even know I was going to the hospital for something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, wow. It, it was yeah. crazy. Luckily, you know? it didn't hit no main artery. Ain't nothing mm. crazy, man. No, I'm supposed to be paralyzed right now. Really? So really? Because of that shot? Mm-hmm. And, and God made a way. Yes, how God, long did it God take for so you? Good. He is. He is. But how long did it take for you to start walking again? Because uh, 
I walked out the hospital the next day. Oh. You had a show the next day. Thug life. Yeah. And you yeah. did the show. I did the show on crutches. But you got to realize yeah. Tupac crutches, was around yes, then. Man. Niggas got motivation from different places back then. Yeah. I remember back then I took a <laughs> nigga get a shot. He got to go do to the studio. Like <laughs> wow. yeah, like we got to get to the studio immediately and tell niggas, nigga I got hit and I'm still. You got to put nigga. it in the song. Yep, yep. Oh, he, <laughs> he, he, it's, it's in there. I can yeah. promise you. That's the way yeah, it we went got, back then. Mm-hmm. Am I right? Yeah, we was we was just trying to stick to. We like you know what we ain't gonna even rap about it. Let's just keep making dance music. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We you weren't really, able to dance at that time. I never. I always had dance. Yeah, though, but yeah. No, I did. I'm talking I with, get with him, though. No, know? I'm saying. Oh, okay. okay but gotcha. you know. Nah, he hit the show on crutches, man. It was oh, yeah, nah, not at that show. I, yeah. I, you're right, I couldn't bust. You couldn't no dance at that, that show. <laughs> you could throw a crutch up, though, if you I, wanted to, just hey, a little bit. They didn't know. want us to make it, but God did. <laughs> I like Motherfuckers. That's they, what I did. We didn't I fall off, we fell back. It's a difference between falling off and falling back. You know what I'm saying? When you got smoke, sometimes you just got to I'm glad you said kill. that I could never figure out the exact words. Yeah, yeah, like, you can't fall off. Sometimes you got to fall back, reevaluate. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, ooh. Go to a different state, let the sun old shine. Nigga you know, said, old school nigga said some minor setback for a major comeback. Oh, major. So, yeah, you know what I love? We, we, I love the fact you always mentioning God. How important is God in your him, career baby. and your life right now? Uh, I'm, I'm not even really supposed to be living, so... When well, I died as a kid, and, and huh? it was just a long, a long story. No, we hear about a Make documentary. It short. My don't mom, tell no, don't my tell mom's on it because I don't explain the story right because I wasn't physically there. But like, was it like at birth? At birth, yeah, I had like 20 minutes to live, and oh, I still okay. made it. So ever since then, it's like my whole life been a blessing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like yeah. I was here for a reason, so yeah, I don't even really be tripping about nothing because it's like, man. Everything is a win when you're not supposed to be here. Man, Tell your mom something. when she dropped that, she need to come on here and talk about it. Yeah, man. Y'all got to go to a church and do it. That's oh, fine. Okay. Get that That's get fine. The holy anointing. That's, That's fine. fine. We, or, like I said, we have a lot of ministers that come on here. Yeah, lot yeah we interview pastors interview and everybody. Pastor? Yes. yes. All the time. Pa- so. We do everybody. We pastors. Bishop Omar, um, um, big pastors. I know, counselors, no, doctors, we lawyers, go, we, everybody. We can go either way, man. Okay. Like I say, I, I mean, this is a universal po- uh, podcast. And exactly. Yeah, we can set that up. Yeah. Yeah. She'll, she'll I, love it. I, I just want to say, man, you guys, man, thank you guys for your contribution to what you guys brought to the city with during that boogie uh, yeah. music. Um, is it Boogie Through the Dough or... You know, that was like, one of our first songs. Yeah, that, that, I mean, what, what, what was? Who, who came up with that? Uh, that was you looking at them right here. Yeah, <laughs> he ain't gonna, he ain't gonna take the credit for it because like we beefing with them niggas too. But uh, wow. yeah, <laughs> they tried to take our whole swag. You hear me? Like real talk, they tried to take that, his that whole. Geek, what, who that geekman? That, that, geekmanship. That. They tried to take my. They tried to take it off. They I, they're in Dallas though, right? Yeah, they out too. But I'm just saying, like, like yeah, I thought y'all started off together young and basically just kind of grew apart. But you saying they're yeah. still now nah, we issues. ain't talking about thug boss. We talking about some old people. They just we used to we used to be around some know. people that like they was older than us, so they used to was able to move faster with our product. Okay, we okay. When you in ninth grade, you can't do what a, exactly uh, mm-hmm. a senior doing. So that was, that was really the problem. And honestly, I feel like. Now that I look back on it, they helped more than I thought it hurt. That's what I would they say. Did. They was they really, really that's what I would say. Free promoters, right? Yeah. That's exactly what it he was. He was trying to help. He was trying to help, and you no, know, he did I, help. Yeah, <laughs> I rock with him heavy. Like it's all love for real, for real. Yeah, but yeah. It's just the way that they did it, though. Yeah, man. But you was younger. Still though, it's it's not what you do; it's the way you do it. Sometimes, you but, know but, but, you, but, but but if he, he gets, but he's older best. now, so he can look back on it and realize that okay, it still was messed up, no matter what. Because when you're at a young stage, you, the way how you think as a young person compared to where you think when you're older is two different ways. If you still feel the same way, because I wasn't even we wasn't even rappers. I was, did this. I was I was making songs to, to for a good grade in class so I mm. could play basketball. I never was no fucking rapper like. It just happened. How like, does that work? You make songs for a good grade. Because I was in a media class and they had oh, cameras and we had Final Cut Pro. You. I remember this like the back of my hand. The teacher was like, "If you want to play basketball this year, That's you know you got to pass." And I was like, I, "I suck on Final Cut Pro," but she had a studio, so I was like, "If they make the video, I'll make the song for the you know." Right. We could pull it up right now. It's on YouTube. Like, and then that's just where it went from there. And people really like that shit. I was like, "Oh shit." <laughs> <laughs> then he he got in the class. Ah, uh, yeah. When I got in the class, it was it over. was a wrap. That was it. <laughs> well, uh, I, I mean, you guys, man, you guys got such a history, man. Uh, explain to me the uh, the prime time click collab that you guys did. Okay. Um, you you know, basically during that time, kind of how that all came together. Shout out to my boys, man. I rock yeah, with the road. Shout out to Rowan Ace Boogie. Yeah, Ace Boogie. Man, for real. Yeah, it was too. It, I, I didn't. It was, so tell me about it. Just, just give me the spiel on, on what was going down during that time. 
Man, it was just it was just like a whole bunch of creators that linked up. You had I felt like the whole city was in the room because you had the row. He just had all these platinum records, great success, and then you had the future of the city, and it was just. You know the city linking up, and it was yeah. It's our time. Dallas really. really don't do that, so yeah. that's why I feel like that's why it was such a big thing because Dallas don't, um, you know, link up. From from what I heard, it was a a, a three hundred uh, thousand uh, dollar advance or something given. Pretty much, yeah. Pretty much in jury and all type of shit, but it wasn't even I mean, just how, that. Let me tell you something. Let's talk about money. it. I want to hear about it in detail. What happened? Because when you give me like a three hundred thousand, whatever right. during that time, right. it has to be something or well, where you like, damn, yeah, I'm gonna go and do this. So give me the insight. Don't leave nothing. I mean, out. It was just a love. It was, it was, it was. You know, like first of all, fuck the jury. Fuck all the other shit. The business was right. Right. The business was right on that end. We already had structure with our business, so to collab was just smart at that moment. And you know, b- before even the jury and all the three hundred thousand dollars, we met this guy and had conversations and dealt with him Man. for months before we even did any so business are you interaction. Saying the business was right because of that. No, the business he was right did it the right way. The business was right before he, we even existed there. It was already parents. plenty of money being made. It was already. You know, like imagine somebody that's already been successful and you successful, they gonna show you the ropes of like, okay, you know what I mean? It's the same thing. Money bag yo did we got it. It's the same thing. How Birdman did with one. Well, but how how, yeah. how fast did you, you was it it was money and jury, right? Exactly. Yeah, but the so jury how, how wasn't the jury you, wasn't a thing like we're gonna sign you for this jury. That shit just happened. How fast would did y'all go through the money with it being the first you know, y'all had a little he money. He did it but, the right way. Like he took my parents out to eat, fame mom. Took y'all mama out yeah, to eat. Took uh, us out to yeah. eat, made sure everybody was straight. Make sure that he It that, wasn't even because you know we had the money to pay for everything too, but it wasn't about that. It was about the, the future structure that we was planning and the future plans and that's what I fuck with the most because we had a lot of deals on the table at that moment to be honest but I mean, it was the future of what we was banking on because if we would have signed certain deals I mean, you would probably time, wouldn't see us right now because Ice Cream Paint Job was like the hottest song and, he, and we was open enough for him in Orlando, Florida I'm talking about Vegas you know yeah. what I'm saying everywhere and then he basically when y'all would open up what was what song did y'all and nobody open even with? really open up with guess what he letting us open up. Yeah, this. yeah. <laughs> well, me? he did the same thing for Mo Three. Okay. Mo Three okay. uh, on the ninety seven nine. No, just on one instance where they were. He 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 came on here and talked about Mo Three going out and uh, performing mm-hmm. at ninety seven nine to be car show. Yeah, he, they didn't have him slotted right, so that was a big deal. Mm-hmm. So what I'm saying is, it's something about him where he always showed love. For him to to even uh, 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 you know link up with y'all during that time, mm-hmm. and he had options too. I, I I heard my guy right here, Fame, say he had options, but both of y'all had options to do other things, mm-hmm. and y'all chose to work together. And right. I think that's something dope. And I think the city needs to hear that. You know, the city needs to know that because we so quick to say th- that nobody you know looks out for nobody in this city, that's but that's right. not true, uh, according to what you guys are saying. That now nah, they always sold me and fame love the city. So no, I'm, I'm talking about far as people can't work together. You see what man, I'm saying? Oh, yeah, people can't, can't come together. But the, but y'all just said y'all just did. Yeah, we, you we, came together with prime time click. That's that's we prime different. time we click. Different. Why can't you know what I'm finna say? I'm not going to say it. Nah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Why can't they all just you know what I'm saying? Everybody cut don't the, do that. Cut the bulls and gone and yeah. But if you talking about if you talking about that the centralized beef? His lives been lost. I know. That's what I'm so saying. So you can't like, really say that. That that's a that's a whole nother ballgame. We are oh, evolving. Yeah, we evolving though. And it's a slow but moving right progress. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, he ain't just talking about certain situations. He's just saying period like the, the whole city. The, the whole city. Like whole Texas. even people we got problems with. Motherfuckers, y'all let that shit go. Cause we done hurt and help. Yeah. Y'all done hurt and help. Everybody young, everybody work, everybody crazy. Do Everybody you, figuring this shit out, man. Y'all I, niggas just let it go. When you think about just the things that you guys was able to accomplish in the time that you were able to accomplish this, it was a guy named uh, Lil Twist. Mm-hmm. Right, right. Lil Twist was <laughs> one of the guys that uh, I remember. Lil Twist, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken, mm-hmm. then he, wasn't he dealing with Diamond D a little bit earlier? Hell on? yeah, yeah. Twist with uh, Diamond D. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, just break down how you and Lil Twist and them even came to you know be linked well, up like you guys did. They, Man, him and Twist was cool 
Wars Elementary They still cool okay. to the day But I'm uh, saying you know, like I'm gonna dig in there Right right <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, we uh Nah they They, they <laughs> close close Like him yeah. and Twist Y'all didn't never get into it Nah we, we What about that one time Me and Twist It was a trip It was a trip Uh Me and Twist used to live together <laughs> But Check this out Yeah we uh Man Me and Twist We ain't ever just Had no disagreement We just had a You know what I'm saying Misunderstanding Didn't wanna Talk for a little minute But that ain't that ain't nothing. That's just the music. Y'all brothers. Man. That's we family. Brothers. Yeah, we was just giving family each other do that, right? We was living together. We just needed a like a little. You know Did you mean? support him when he went over to Cash Money? I know y'all oh, went yeah. over to Young Money. Did, was, tell me about when y'all went over to Young Money with him. Did you go? Yeah. How was that when you when you went with Young Money? Because I heard they got a, they had a hell of a camp at the time. Man, it was amazing, man. Uh, I appreciate Twist, Mac Main, Lil Wayne. I met Mac Main. Uh, yeah. Shit, yeah. man, okay. one of the best experiences ever. They really, you know, took us under their wing, let us, you know, rep our brand, let us man, tour. Man, I love Lil Twist and Birdman. They, what did y'all the do truth. there, though, man? I hear stories about Birdman, and I hear stories about the whole camp. Mm. I hear stories about the, how they move. I hear, I see, I'm a big Birdman fan, to be honest. I mean, one thing about. So just tell me about how it was. Now, we don't have the, the Lil Wayne situation where you okay. guys, because y'all even have music with him, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so just tell me how you guys, I mean, because y'all don't want to don't want to spill a bean. Nigga, don't just go up there and do a song with Lil Wayne. I just what? interviewed Compton Menace, mm -hmm. and he got a song with Lil Wayne. Yeah, look, Hell, tell me the truth. What real. happened? Twist did a lot for me. Like, he let me open up for Drake and J. Cole mm -hmm. right when they was blowing up. Dope. I'm talking about. We Dope. Was, Shit, I ain't gonna lie. We was hotter than Drake and J. Cole at this time. Okay. Let's just be real. No, no, I, and I get it. Because we start doing music before for them. them. Exactly. But when they first signed the Young Money, I never forget that. But let's stop for a second. You say you was hotter than Drake and J. He Cole. He wasn't rapping. No, no, no. Say it again. You got to yeah. say that. <laughs> oh, yeah, like you're rapping. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like, you, you, ain't no bunch yeah. of people can say that, but you and Soldier Boy, that's it. Right, like, to like, you know hey, like, hey, B. Reed, I want you to come open up for Drake and J. Cole. I'm like, really? I couldn't believe it. But at the same time, I had to think for a second, like, we really are just we bigger you know, than them we really yeah so I was excited about it I'm like, a little yeah, I'm nigga gonna... but I'm big homie yeah 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 <laughs> <laughs> so so basically you guys opened up and and, and yeah, we started up dealing with how was it did you ever have a conversation with Drake during that time oh yeah we we talked to fame and Drake they got real y'all cool. still rock yeah man I, oh, yeah, I, I mean life. to be honest <laughs> I ain't saw Drake in a, in a minute because I've been you know honing in on my craft but like when I was in LA Doing my thing, he would always be around me, Twist Wayne, and you know it's a you know mutual relationship. Like he cool as hell. All right, how how is he? Let's let's, let's talk. Let me talk about y'all. Did y'all thought about doing some music together? Or no. Uh, no, nah, no. Nah. To be honest, I don't think Drake know about us like that. That was nah, ten he, years ago. Yeah, he's, okay. Ten, you know what I mean? Like he don't really know like that. Well, it's a couple of. We had a guy on our show that said that Drake texted him. So you right. know, uh, sometimes you know. Uh, uh, maybe he might text y'all again. We don't know. I don't walk up to niggas like, hey, I do music. I, we opened up for you 10 years ago yeah. and I'm at your house right now, but hey, you know what I'm saying? So, But a solid like, nigga gonna remember that, though. No, nah, for sure. For oh, sure, yeah, let's be real. A solid nigga don't forget yeah, 10 Justin years ago. Don't forget about I got me, niggas been coming to this store for 15 years and they Drake come through the door hell, and I still Drake remember. Drake solid as hell, but the thing about it was we didn't go through Drake. We went through Cortez Bryant, which is Drake's manager, Nikki's manager. Yeah, Wayne's so it manager. wasn't genuine. It was, it was super genuine. Well, Tez. And he still should remember y'all. Tez right, remember right, me? Right, right, Tez is right. my I'm talking about Drake too if y'all was out hanging out with him. Right. I'm yeah. telling you this because I don't play, man. Like right. a nigga, I don't play no entertainment game. No, if a nigga meet me, bro, if he I, meet I me. I meet people every day. You gotta understand. I'm a star. Know. They better bro, know. I'm a star. Bro, nigga, you bro, gotta remember me. me every day. I'm a star. So you gotta think about it. You gotta think about it. If you meet people every day for 20 years, how many motherfuckers are you gonna actually remember? You gotta think about it. This nigga be going four, five states a day. I'm not gonna say Drake don't know who Young Nation is, but hey, I mean, he ain't finna just, you know, hit us up like, hey, what yeah, y'all didn't have that kind of relationship. Yeah. We was but just, the nigga know who Young Nation is. Drake, you know Cortez Brown, shout out to Tez, man, the real I'm guy. About, we in the club with Drake, Two Chains, Future. I'm talking about Drake looking at us like, hello. Ain't that Young Nation? Like, yeah, he like, they got yeah. more hoes over here than I do. All right, that's all I'm saying, my nigga. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm that's like, Grizzly. I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? What's up? He like, what's good, baby? That's all I'm saying. That's it. We just want to let it be known. But and he so loved Texas too. So Twist showed us how to the Texas man. More of the story. Yeah. Twist showed us love. Like you know, what I'm saying I flew to LA time and time again, staying at Justin Bieber house with Twist. Like it don't get no better than that. So that that brings up another you know valid point. I mean, do Twist remember you? 
You been knowing him for 10 years? <laughs> yeah, 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 that one time. Don't right. play me, <laughs> dog. Don't play Matush me, man. Our friend before Hell this no, shit, bro. man. Don't we play me, man. We met Drake a business I don't partner. give a damn if that nigga seen you. He know you, nigga. Y'all young nation. He nations. know us, but He better shit. know you. He better know you. Go. You I just love Texas, bro. I don't play by Texas. You did not fit act like you don't know us when we come in, nigga. That's the way I act, too. He does this everywhere. I don't that. care where I'm it. at. Nah, it's love. Nigga, man. gonna understand yeah. we here, nigga. Boss talk. Yeah, yeah. but you ain't finna kill our feature chances, so. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga tripping, man. That nigga tried to kill me. Hey, hey. I knew it was something. Drizzy, listen, <laughs> dog. This nigga tripping. Hey, it's been 12 years. <laughs> I sent a lot of ladies. That nigga changed your Why life with a conversation. Drake exactly. Not be mad at you. That, that's what I'm saying. If if a nigga. Nah, I'm trolling, bro. Yeah, if a nigga comes with me, nigga really. If he if he rocks with you, rock. Yeah. So, but but just the, the Lil Wayne thing, with y'all doing a song with him, I know he do songs with everybody. Here we go. No, he don't. We don't cover up no, with this don't. nigga. Cover up with this nigga. He did one with Double A. He just did yeah, he one did. with Double A. That's my nigga. He I just left that. here. Yeah. And uh, he did he one did. with uh, 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 Compton Menace, who we, we and now he did one with y'all. Now, did this nigga don't remember y'all doing a song with y'all? Lil Wayne? Oh, Wayne, Wayne is my mentor. Yeah, Wayne, yeah, Wayne remember, but Drake love. don't. I just but don't love. get it, my nigga. Did he say Drake don't remember? I didn't say Drake didn't remember me. Drake remembers me. What you talking about? I don't it's know. Exactly. <laughs> 12 years ago, he did not remember you, boy. Oh, damn. You, you done grew that damn beard. Oh, damn. <laughs> Hey. That nigga, it's gonna be like, damn, man, you think gonna remember that shit for 12 years? Man, y'all tripping, bro. I don't know. Y'all tripping, bro. Say, that's the way Bob I don't remember nobody, you know it, so you think he remember? <laughs> I don't remember nobody, bro. He <laughs> said, yeah. You don't remember Drake now? That's don't give that nigga nothing that's else why, to Drake. That's that why nigga. you gotta make an impact when you meet people for the first time that's so right. they can Stand never forget stage. you. That's exactly okay. what I say. That's really right. what man, I was saying back then. I say that. We was kids. So, you know, I had like 14. Ten, see, I met Drake. I had like 10 bands in my pocket. Right, I wasn't even thinking of, let me throw some money real quick. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't even thinking. <laughs> that, 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 was, that, was, that, that wasn't it back then. You know what I'm saying? Just being who you are was the shit. You know what I mean? But, <laughs> you, 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 if you'd have done that, you'd have been the man. I would have been the man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so I got a question Go ahead, babe. Um, for fame. We had Barrio on here. Yeah, man. And are you his brother? Like brother, brother? You say who? Barrio. Barrio. Uh, Why is saying Barrio? Yeah. yeah. Nah. That's that's, Man, that's uh, his famous mentor. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I'm just checking because he mentioned that he had he had a brother in Young Nation, so I was just checking to that's see who, who he talking was. about. Nah, honestly. He's talking about uh, me. Barrio. Barrio talking about me. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, okay. So it, it, y'all like brothers. I get it. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Barrio, man. That's my boy, man. Shout out to A. Hey, my free little Shout Blake. Out Barrio. Free little Blake in this hoe. Oh, y'all don't know nothing I about, don't know that. about that. Y'all yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> funny, man. No, this shit down there is comedy, too. <laughs> but it's real comedy. You hear me? A sitcom. You hear me? Real sitcom. We've been kicking it, dog. That's, how, that's why this whole be going, though. Kicking, we kicking, be having kicking. a good time, man. You know, um, you guys say. But yeah, man, Nick got a. Drake, you think he remember you, dog? <laughs> Hold on, bro. Drizzy. Tell me you do that. That's a bit. That, that, that was real. Like, if you did a song with Lil Wayne and Lil Wayne put that nigga on, there's no reason why that nigga should remember. He me. lives in Canada. I wouldn't give a damn. He do songs in Houston, nigga, just to be seen. When he came out, he he pay homage hey, to Drake Houston. Drake is Texas bound. What exactly. You yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So he do remember you. When last time you been to Houston? Drake knows you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not talking about him. He, 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 he knows, knows you, bro. I like to say people don't know me, even if they do. You know that what I'm saying? Yeah. Drake, make sure you hit the like button if, if you know this nigga if you don't nigga don't look at it no more turn your head nigga turn the other cheek like Jesus hey, said why are we talking about Drake so much he don't, he's on his plane that nigga drink his champagne it so let me know man so when you first uh, when, you, when you and Lil Twist y'all did some music together of course oh yeah Twist man he put me on like when he first got signed to Cash Money he put me in fame on like every mixtape he dropped you know what I mean yeah, what's, sure, up, what's yeah. some of the things that that, that uh, you know maybe even Lil Wayne uh any of those guys from that camp, McMain, anything that that influenced y'all's career to where y'all said, man, they that's don't something. leave the studio. That's that's big. I hear that they a lot. They don't leave the studio, and that's what I, you know. Like, you know, I'm a studio. I stay in the studio. Like, I just work, man. Everything else. Like right now, you, it's fun and games, you know. But after this, where you headed? Back to the studio. I might go to churches just on, feel, you know, feel that vibe. Not mm -hmm. Rudy's. No, I ain't been to churches in years, so I'm gonna go to churches, feel that vibe. And go back to work, man. Mm -hmm. That's what that's that's the biggest thing I picked up from them, and that's one of the biggest things that I feel like will uh, help me evolve bigger than I've already been because 
man, if you work hard, bro, everything just fall in your lap. Man, I don't play about. And be bird. consistent. Yeah, consistent. I consistent. don't play about Bird Man. I don't play about the South. I don't play about the way he represents the South. J, uh, uh, J Prince. N- none of the stuff that we do down here, I take it real serious, bro. Nah, for sure. So I don't. I don't. It's, it's from here up for me. Mm-hmm. I don't do all that other stuff that everybody else trying to do. I don't clout chase. Mm-hmm. I rock with y'all. I, I seen y'all movement. Yeah, you, I, you yeah. watched me growing up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Real, so though. I ain't, I ain't playing no games. I seen niggas dancing to y'all's music when they were young. I was still an old nigga then. We ain't gonna act like nothing. We ain't. Yeah, that's right. Keeping it one hundred. And and so let's let's get I to got, it, man. You got a question? Yeah. I have Here a she question. goes. She got it wrote down, y'all. She got one. It's, it, she ain't playing with you niggas. Get them, baby. So when y'all split up, um, they the question up? not y'all. But okay. The question Who split was. Up? This question was proposed to me okay. to ask. Okay. And it says, um, is signing with Young Money what split it all up? Uh, so, let's just keep, let's tell the world, right, fuck it. Right. So, <laughs> what, who is that? That's Watts. We had a lot of. <laughs> so, it wasn't signing the Young Money. It was the, mm-hmm. it was the. It wasn't even a we a group. Up. It was so when you like, a group, you don't yeah. even agree on everything. Uh-huh. He didn't want to go to LA and spend ten thousand a month on rent and Mm-mm. you know I was spend our whole bag. Me, I'm like right, right. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. We got a hundred. I don't care. We got a hundred thousand a piece. Guess we what? We in the studio. I'm a I'm a whole Texas now, bro. Even if I am signing young money, you feel me? Mm-hmm. That's so, just me. It, it, we general. never broke up like that. It was just like. I'm gonna go to LA. You stay in Dallas, mm-hmm. or you you go to Houston or whatever. And it was just like a, we just grown. And y'all do y'all thing from two different. Yeah, places. We, I was sending them songs every day. We never broke okay. up though. Like it wasn't never nothing like that. It was just like I don't want to stay in Texas right now, nigga. Yeah, it's hot, right, nigga. He Come on, want to stay here. So, I don't blame you. You want me to go? I got a question that somebody had called in too. Okay. Um, this one say did I don't think they would know that, but did uh. Did Soldier Boy and him uh, steal the swag from Dallas or something? Hell no, Soldier Boy. Been, <laughs> I'm just saying that, saying that they came down here right. when that little, when that whole movement. Nah, began. Soldier Boy been hot since. Oh, we I'm was just in saying what they. Asking. No, I'm just being no, real. Boy, I, I'm a 100. real nigga. Soldier been hot since we was leaving elementary. So, when we when we hit seventh grade, Soldier hot shit on the street. Was he hot when my Doggy came out? No, Soldier rapping way for us. Soldier was hotter mm-hmm. before before Lil Will dropped my Doggy. You know he, he helped my Doggy be my Doggy. He helped my wow. Doggy, bro. But people don't want to give him his flowers. But you know I'm a real nigga, man. Yeah. Did, he I, always talk about that. I people definitely don't give tell him his that people don't. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. another question that came in, they was asking. Uh, was teach me how the Dougie stole from 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 Dallas. Of course, it was of stole, course. but it was like borrowed. Oh, it was <laughs> borrowed. <laughs> it was borrowed type shit. You know what I'm saying? Of course. How oh, did, oh, wait, it's one y'all? more. It's Hold one on, more. I got one too. Hey, but guess okay. what? Hold on. God did. <laughs> oh my God! Hey, man, man. Man. Hey, this is gonna be the biggest comeback the world's man. We've been planning and pl- this is fun. It's going down. It's going down like a goddamn crash. I love it. It's your turn. Plane you- crash around this motherfucker. How did y'all get Nina Loretta on your one of y'all songs? Who Nina, Nina Loretta? Ah oh, man, so me and the, Nina Loretta, uh, <clears throat> we done bumped into each other so many times. <laughs> what that mean? Nah, but he trolling. He say y'all bumped into each other. I'm gonna stop trolling. She's a married woman. That's my friend. Well, I'm just saying. Right. No, right. Right. Cause we ain't gonna get nothing mixed up. This boss talk. I'm, I'm happy she you cleared it up. She is married. Ring on her finger. I'm happy, happy. you cleared That's it up. That's my sister. I love okay. It. Don't y'all misconstrue or none of that. Exactly. That's my. We are close. She is like. My dog. That's good. Nah, I'm stop showing them. Yeah, they just she, they really just cool though. Okay, she so is how married you got- and happy, and I'm happy for her and her family. How did y'all link up? I've been knowing her for a few years on some studio shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, we got mutual friends. Then bumped into her a lot of times. Um, she hang with some of the nation nets. And we just like we, we I met uh, I like I met, her voice. Her yeah, voice I met is Nina Loretta yeah, a while back is. with Boosie actually though. Yeah, like a long time ago. I ain't gonna cap. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she like, hard. Yeah, yeah she is. So, she is. But yeah, yeah, shout out my dog. We yeah, because she was supposed to come on here once a long time ago, but something happened and she had. I'm gonna bring her up here for y'all. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get her delivered to y'all. Oh okay. Oh yeah. What? It was, it was, uh, <laughs> all right. You gotta have a car service pick yeah. her up and drop her off. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Did um um, who went the hardest in their era? Was it y'all or Mister Hit that? Mr. Why are you gonna do this to me? Bro, I'm just saying. I love God Mr. Hit. I love Mr. Hit. Hey, Mr. Hit that hard. That's my nigga. Hey, he, oh, he started a lot of shit. Who went the hardest? But God did. Who went the hardest, bro? I ain't gonna tell y'all Dallas, his mansion that, Nobody in Dallas, bro. 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 Nobody
Nobody in Dallas, bro. Who went the hardest, bro? Who went the hardest, bro? I, during those eras, y'all had two kind uh, of different Mr. Hit that, Mr. Hit that was he first. He opened the floodgates for us. First? He opened up the floodgates for us. Then y'all came after. We flooded it. I mean. So you saying it was y'all. Yeah, Chris Riggs. Right he opened it up, though. That's okay. It's out like, of the bull crap. I'm finna get down the right. bed. We, we right, get down to the bed. <laughs> Mr. Hit that hoe that started dancing until Thug Boss Nation music came out. <laughs> but check this out, though. They made a big hit single, though. You know what I'm saying? And then after that. Oh, now everybody know who Fully Fame is and who the Young Dunn is. I'm like, oh, okay, bitch. Okay, well, I'm just trying to but get But he opened up the floodgates. We flooded that motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, I went down I feel there. like, I'm going to be real. Let's the only go. reason I feel like we even surpassed all that was because him. So y'all passed them up. They, no, 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 y'all no, we didn't pass it. them up. You just said you surpassed. You just said that. No, I'm saying <laughs> something to do. Listen, it's easy to pass them when they ain't working. Oh, him, they wasn't working. No, him, Trill Lee, <laughs> Prince Rick wasn't <laughs> cool. <laughs> I pulled up on bro. If you look no, at the Geek Mischief video yeah, right now, Trill Lee is in the fucking Geek Mischief video. I pulled up doing on Trill Lee like, man, y'all need How to be doing, doing it. You're doing it. <laughs> yeah, just like that. Yeah, so look, I pulled up on Trill Lee like, y'all need to get this shit straight because this shit was big. So it's not even a competition when you and your two main rappers not even cool. So how is it even? We surpassed him because of no longer existing of working with your team mm -hmm. that y'all already hot. They got a song called Mr. Hit That Ho. Mr. And you know they're hot, hitting that yeah, ho. He the hottest DJ in the city, bro. For real, though. Let's just be real. He's still the hottest nah, DJ he is, now. He is now. Yeah, I'm talking about then. Y'all trying to. Now, nah, let's be real about the real. Okay, you know, the okay. history is real. Bro, bro, bro. Dallas okay. always okay. beefing. I, yeah, I, I no, Dallas ain't beefing. Why the hell you can't talk about the era? It's not like I'm talking about Trill Lee. I'm talking about him and Trill Lee and Prince Rick not being cool. I never saw them niggas together after that record. Something happened. Wow. So that's what I'm saying. You talking about Three. Yes, yeah. I'm, I'm not talking about us, nigga. But I'm just saying, <laughs> <I love it. laughs> it's, it's still, y'all, y'all act like y'all uh, tap dancing here around the club. Who was who had the hardest movement? Bro, it's not no. They broke up. They had he one song. There's no competition. It they was won. a movement, though. But anyway, okay. they he, broke up, bro. We we won. Bro, saying that up. they won. I was at Beamers. I was at Beamers. had a versus. This one I knew was over. I was at Beamers. If we had a versus between Trilly, <laughs> Prince Rick, Young Nation, that's. You know what I'm saying? They're my guys, though. <laughs> <laughs> but God did. <laughs> Let's not forget shit. Wayne hopped on they on they shit, walking around the club, fucking. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. So it's like, I mean, they, they they the shit now. Don't get it twisted. Okay, you know well. But we got like 25. We got like 20. Oh, there you go. I knew it was coming. It ain't hey, no company, bro. I'm like not in competition with. And we got one. When you do this, it's like, ooh, come but on. But this was back in the past, though. So Come on, my first back. song hit. Come on, y'all. But hit what? It hit a lot of a lot of places. My punches. space, man. No, <laughs> London. My first song hit London. Okay, London. my first song hit Italy. My so first you, song hit. So that would make you the bigger, bigger. Not movement. the bigger. It's just <laughs> I'm working. I'm no. not in competition. This way, this way. I'm no, not in competition. I'm no, saying, no. Saying, nation got we was uh, groundwork artists, but no, that's all wrong. We we was an internet sensation. Let, let me bro. just say <laughs> this. Hey, I'm, I'm gonna say this, and I want y'all to feel me on this, man. You know, when I went down to Houston, I interviewed Lil Kiki. I interviewed, uh, I interviewed a couple of uh, ESG, um, and, and I right talked there. to these guys about uh, 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 versus is between one another. I just interviewed DJ. Chose. That'll be good. Houston. I just interviewed DJ Chose the other night, and I pinned him against uh, Sauce Walker. I'm being real. You these guys something. understand that it's okay to say we did this. It's a movement, guys. Okay. It's okay. Can I tell you it's, something? Listen, it's okay to but have a movement. A co friendly competition Ain't only bad. makes you can stronger. Can I tell you the truth? Yeah. Ain't nobody better, nigga. Oh, damn. Ain't nobody damn. better, nigga. Damn, that nigga coming on with it. Ain't nobody hey, fucking hey, with us, hey, man. Cut off his drinks. Cut off his drinks. <laughs> hey, look, so look, I can do a five-hour set on my mama. On. Shoot me down and kill me right now. I got the gun. Is he lying? So look, <laughs> Is he lying? I can do a five-hour set on my mama. One hour set, Thug Boss Nation songs. Okay. Two hours of that five hours, all freestyles. And then the rest, we just gonna hit it out. We gonna... We gonna go from doing her to work your legs to statue down station. I'm gonna be singing. Come on, man. That's, That's what, what I'm talking about. Now we can start the interview, nigga. That's what I do. Like right there, fucking with us, dog. <laughs> you supposed we, uh, to feel that way, man. But Take I love that. But I have we. a five hour set for niggas' heads, and they cannot stand there they like can't. that. Five hours. Now they need to come. Nigga, I'm talking about a whole you know, works. I can, nigga, I'm I can, talking about. Yeah, I can perform hits from the time the venue open to the time <laughs> the venue close. You know, I can just. That's just. How talented God blessed him and me to be like. But honestly though, fame right though. Like really, we really put in the most work in Dallas. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the whole city. Like Lil Runny, shout out my nigga Lil Runny and Mike Fresh. They the truth too. We got the other ass in the circle. Platinum record. You know what I'm saying? But 
Yeah. So, okay, so what I want to know, because you see, back in the Boogie era, right? No, nah, it ain't it, no back. Okay. It's okay. still going. It's still going. Damn, but hold see, on. Hey, y'all got them started. Right. Nigga just but, scared. But, 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 all right, but hold on, but hold on. Okay, back when it Ms. started. Talk, you got them started. When Ms. it Ms. started, talk. okay, Dallas was more together. Yeah. Now a lot of people talk about how Dallas is separated because of all the Because everybody want to rap all... and sound like Memphis right. and they want to act like they from Memphis or they want to act like they from Louisiana. How can we bring the love back from when it started back you then can't. to now? They're lost. I want to. It has to be a way they can come back. Hey. See, I want to act like I'm from Fort Worth. You talking about? <laughs> Real talk. They be, my nigga, they be going hard. In Fort Worth. Yeah, they yeah man. We, we try to, we we try people, to, no, we try to bring Texas together. It's yeah, not, yeah, not, what he's saying. It's, not, it's not a Dallas. It's, it's not, not a Houston. It's not. It's just all it's Texas. It's a Texas. And that's, that's, right. that's real. That's why I just said Fort Worth. Cause yeah, I don't want because to forget. I'm going to be real with yeah. you, man. We can't forget Free Fort Worth. Yeah, yo, I you know? opened this platform up. Fort Worth came over here, and, and, and I seen talent like yeah. no other place, bro. I'm serious. For real. And so I can't I sit up here and act up. like these these people don't. We all in this same melting pot. And I'm telling you, even Houston, like I came into this game as Boss Talk, and I did a show, and I brought East Texas, Cash was there, I bought Houston, and I bought Dallas to the same place to perform all of them together when Boss Talk came on the scene. I, I really do value trying to bring this all mm -hmm. of this stuff mm -hmm. together, man. We need to stop trying to figure out a way to say we the man or whatever without saying all us is the man, period. Yeah. Now, y'all dope, dope as hell. One of the dopest uh, uh, groups, period. We Appreciate in the it. South, man. Appreciate and at that. the end of the day, ain't nobody, you know, Breakfast Club ain't really calling niggas down here like they should. Y'all right. didn't want to hear that. See, you see, we got to call each other out. That's mm -hmm. why I told y'all about Birdman a while ago, here. and I, I really, I can't. You see how they disrespect the Birdman on Breakfast Club? They, they do that they purposely. Tried to. No, you wouldn't have no, it no, but I'm not just, it, it, listen, yes, sir. not just them. Period. We gotta. If we don't think big about ourselves, who gonna think big about ourselves? But you know what I think. You know what right? I mean. I yep. think music. Music is a thing that can bring people apart, but it can also bring people together. And when you think about the older, the younger, or even all y'all together, just having people work together on the same track, having people work together, to show unity through the music. And I think that can bring people together because even yeah, you have the older people like Don Chief and you know Mr. Lucci, Mr. Pookie, and all of that. And oh, can I, I say something about that? Hold on, hold on. on we're going to get into that. Yeah, we're going to get into that. Okay. But, but you know, I wish they would hop on songs with some of these hot, younger people exactly. to bridge the gap and show unity and show that, okay, not say mentorship, but they've been in the business for a long time. The so they have information they can share with the people who, you know, just coming up and hot. You know, Mr. Lucci, he got an artist right now on the radio. From Dallas, you feel me? He invested into him. My little homie, uh, little Q, uh, three hundred, mm -hmm. nine hundred. But uh, yeah, with nine hundred, right? Nine hundred. I already, yeah. But like I'm saying, like, what you doing there, Mister Lucci? I respect that, right mm. there. You know that's what I'm my nigga, right there. Yeah, bro. Shout out to Mister Lucci, man. And that's what a lot back more people need to do. Gang, land, Lucci. Yeah. So what you was wanting to ask about? Yeah, you were about the, to jump the, on the, the, the Don Chief. He came here and Don Chief did an epic interview. Uh, I got something to say. Hold on, let me say. Let me hold on and let me see. Not only Don Chief. Uh, Sean, Sean Cotton, Cotton he came. came here also and did an Sean epic Cotton interview. Sean did not come here. What? He really? Yes. He's been what? here twice. But, uh, uh, but but I'm telling you, these interviews, really, Sean came on and, and he spoke. And then Don Chief came on and he spoke. So, uh, and I think you need to go watch both interviews before you make judgment on one, really. But if you want to make judgment, you do what you're going to do. I'm going to make judgment. Did you watch <laughs> both of them? <laughs> yeah, I saw from, yeah, did you watch Park. both of them? I saw Sean part and I saw a clip of Boom. Chief Park. All right. Okay, now you can go ahead. So what I'm saying is, I just, Chief, listen, bro. Let me tell you, because I'm from Dallas. Ain't nobody going to say it, I'm going to say it. Listen, man. You can't look miserable in these streets. You got to let these people, if they don't want to post your shit... Don't force it. Drop them hits. See, what's wrong with us Dallas people? We want the acknowledgement, but we don't put the work in. You get what I'm saying? Like, not saying he ain't working, but we ain't hearing the motion. You get what I'm saying? You can't be mad at Sean Cotton. He's in Florida. He's around the world. I see Sean. I fuck with Sean. That's my dog. I don't care what nobody say. He's having motion. He's not hearing Big Chief on this game. He's not hearing Big Chief. In North Carolina, he's not hearing Big Chief Weezing. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, you can't be mad. Just get your paper. It's like, you get mad because a nigga got money. No, get your paper up, and y'all go to the table together and sit down and figure some shit out. That's all I'm saying. So, representing Dallas, you got to represent. Because I've been playing the whole interview. Like, we, we, we have fun. Like, this shit fun. Like, Young Nation, we have fun. 
But this shit real right here, right? So if you're gonna look like that on camera, it looks miserable. Just from the outside looking in, I haven't seen Big Chief in a long time. I saw him in Lancaster like three, four, five years ago. A long time. I was going to get a haircut before a show. So it's like, so you just don't look miserable. Don't make nobody that don't want to post your shit, post your shit. And just, nigga, put out the hits. Do I'm you, in the studio 24 hours. Do you double down on the same thing that he, he said? Do you agree with him? Hey, man. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Big Chief is a legend, you know what I'm saying? He just really just been, you know, out the picture for a while trying to let people do what they really been doing, man. And, and I respect that. Because Don Chief got songs with Rick Ross, Birdman. Mm -hmm. You name it, he got it. But guess what? Fame right, though. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think, like I said, it's, it was a big deal. I mean, when you look at Chief, Chief uh, definitely killed the streets. And now Man, Chief, but, but Chief is uh, doing uh, media runs right now. Shout out mm -hmm. to, uh, I think he just did uh, Mogul Media. Mm -hmm. um, he's doing, he's making his, ru his run. And one thing I don't do is put somebody in a box. Hopefully right. he's able to bring and erupt his career into a situation to where people can understand how he rolls. Because he ain't too old. The internet gives you a little leeway on your age and all that, really. Man, the internet bullshit, dog. Nah, Listen, I'm talking time. about as far as the way the music mm -hmm. is flowing. It's not like I'm gonna be honest. Let me just I say, need, let me say this. When, let, me here. Say, let me say this. <laughs> when he did the interview on my show and I started putting his interview out and I started posting some of his music, a lot of them come and say, we went and listened to your music and we love that music, bro. Mm -hmm. You can't deny the fact that the dude music was street ready. No, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Hey, and basically, if a nigga go and listen to but that what music, I'm saying is if a nigga go listen to that music right now and he a street nigga, he riding with no, that, What I'm bro. saying is you just can't look. Man, this is for all my Dallas artists. It's not for Chief because I love you, anybody from Dallas. I love you. If you're from Dallas, I love you. But just don't look miserable on the camera and put in that work and drop music. That's it. Yeah. Everything else go. If your music trash, your music trash, my nigga. No matter what you do or say, if a nigga gonna support it, he gonna support it. If he not gonna support it, he not gonna support it. But all you can do is keep your head up, keep fighting, keep swinging, keep dropping shit. Like that's it, bro. And besides that, it's up. Let me ask you this: uh, Did you guys ever link up with Mo Three anytime when he was living? Nah. Um, we used to see him on planes. Oh God, uh, yeah, I used to. We, we see him on a lot of planes, like right. leaving shows, leaving right. Atlanta. Like I, he'll be on the same plane as us, and we'll chop it up. We'll chop Mo it three, up. Mo three used to be with me and Onyx. Y'all remember Onyx? Hell mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, me and Mo three, we performed at Club Onyx a few times. You know what I'm saying? Back when Fame was in L. A. We uh, I performed up there. He saw me. We, we didn't really say too much to each other because shit, I was with uh, Yellow that night actually, but. Yeah, I saw him. Yeah, he, he legit, though. Okay. You know saying? Rest how, his soul. how much do you think um, his death, do you think it hurt the city when he passed? Oh, man, it, 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 that was a big impact. He hurt it. That hurt a lot of people, you know, a lot of people, man. That's, that was crazy. But and that was, ain't my place to really speak on that. But, you know, yeah, that, that hurt some people. And I was out of town. When, I was just thinking about it music-wise, you know. Oh, yeah, his music. Because Man, because hard. you're in the music <laughs> industry and you know so you know how much impact it had on the music. Yeah, it shit was hard, for real though. Do you think that because uh, when that whole era started, because that was kind of after you guys, is right? Yeah. Uh, Go Yayo was one of the main contributors to that whole wave coming mm -hmm. in. Yeah. Um, did you guys ever see him or do anything uh -huh. with Go Yayo? Yeah, we got songs yeah, with Go Yayo. Yeah, we got songs um, with Go Yayo. Yeah, yeah. I, I, he, I ain't gonna lie, he the first dude from Fort Worth. No lie, he first dude from Fort Worth to come pull up to Dallas, yeah. come to our session. Yeah, for real though. <laughs> Hop on the song. Fuck like, and, and at that point, at that moment when he came, he was in. The, he was the hottest in the streets. He didn't have to, you know what I mean? He could have been like, fuck that shit. But like, we was lit still. Like, we still in the studio working, still on our shit. So, but he came. He came when he was the hottest in Texas. Did a yeah, verse, did a song. Mm -hmm. So, like, like I, I even told all my other partners from Fort Worth, like, man, that nigga pulled up on me, bro. Like, wow. he pulled up and, 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 and res show respect, too. We you, posed some drink. It was one of them days. It, it, you, I know Go Go Yayo, he had an era. Solo Lucci had an era as well. Mm -hmm. I was trying to on tell TV, them about Solo Lucci. Stuff. They be like, who is Solo Lucci? I'm like, you you never heard of partner. Solo Lucci? You don't know Solo Lucci, fool? You don't? Yeah, 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 I yeah, know Solo Lucci. And where he from? Tell him. He's straight out of Fort Worth, right? bro. Yeah, I mean, so I'm just saying, there's a lot of people that did a lot of stuff around. But I hate when people some... say, "I hate when people say that's their era." Um, it makes it sound like they're dead, not dead as in like literally dead. But I'm talking like career wise. You know what I mean? That. I don't like that because that don't mean that they're not working to come. You know, mm -hmm. 
relevant again. Well, this dude right. got he got right. songs with Chris Brown. He got songs with yes, R. He Kelly. Does. Them he got a whole album, yes, man. Right. This Solo dude, Lucy they know does. he, he got, got all that R. stuff. R. Kelly, bro. You, you know, yeah. I, the thing is, on, I'm now. just saying, there's been a lot of a lot he wrote of wrote for R. Kelly, bro. Come on, now. exactly. But so I'm just saying, he respect. definitely definitely done his thing. So you I gotta give him roses. We shouldn't talk about R. Kelly that much, though. What's going on? It's political. Who else he ever saw? <laughs> Boy, you something, man. Bro, and I love art. Nigga, I grew up to TP12. Nigga, that shit hurt. So, nigga, I jam R. Kelly, nigga. Oh, no. You know, I got a question. Um, because going back to relevancy and stuff like that, the way the industry that we're in right now, I think it's more of a branding more than you're just in music because you notice a lot of musicians are moving into movies now, film. Mm -hmm. Are, are y'all have anything coming? Yeah. I'm, glad, I'm glad you film? said that. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, we about to drop this documentary, man. The hottest documentary, man. Got a I'm glad doom, you said that. Doom, doom. That's all Opening I'm doing. Next, that's all I'm doing next One year. One of the first arena shows. Wow. Boom. It's telling our whole story. Like the documentary is crazy. We've been, we been uh, getting like people. You know, it's already filming. We've yes. been filming that I'm shit drop for years. On, uh, oh. My whole career. So when is that going? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna drop put, it on. It's, it's getting put together. Like, I'm gonna drop that it on. That bitch gonna uh, be big like Kanye's. Yeah, I'm gonna drop it on. That bitch gonna be big first. on YouTube first. But it's streaming on Netflix though. Yes, it is. It's a Young Nation documentary. It is like five episodes. Y'all got to connect 30. to get it on Netflix. Yes, what? Yeah, oh, man, yes, come on, man. I've been connect. in LA, man. He gonna make sure. He gonna make sure that it, that's on that. But uh, <laughs> nigga, fame is dripping hard. <laughs> <laughs> what? Right. Nigga, yeah, we been on that. It's me, dog. I like it. We love it. it we needs, love it. We need to go big, big like cinema too. Hey, top three artists of all time, right. dead or alive. Both of y'all, but I want you first. Any genre. Top three artists any of genre. all time, dead or alive. Number one, Lil Wayne. Number two, two. Lil Wayne. No. The greatest ever to touch a microphone. Fuck what y'all talking about. Talk Let's go. Number two. Number one. Number two. Number two. Oh. It can be me. Yeah. All right. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Right. You got to put the nation into <laughs> Number two. Number, number three. three. Shh, I'm going to be honest. This is this kind of off. This Any level. genre. Any genre. My mama didn't let me listen to rap until my pops got out of prison when I was eight. So my favorite artist. Can I do four? No. Alright All right, come on We gotta go Kurt Franklin Cause hey. I ain't know hey. I was just Kurt Kurt Franklin Franklin when I was top. working hey. out yesterday God I love Kurt my soul But Kurt Franklin Is street nigga Real talk yeah. <laughs> I love it I, I love, love Kurt him. Number one uh, Number one We gonna run with Jay Z Number two We gonna run with uh, Let's see Eminem Number three Wow Young Nation Wow, at least we got one from I, the side. I got a question. Yeah. What y'all what, what thought about Pimp C? I love Pim this C? guy. I don't like you no more, but it's cool. <laughs> what y'all thought about Pimp C? Damn. My birthday on the same, the day after Pimp C. Damn. He December 30th, I'm December 31st. Damn. We the same yeah, person, same damn right near. There. You know what? Everybody that? hate Pimp. Everybody hate Fooley. You know what, man? <laughs> <laughs> everybody <laughs> hate Pimp. Everybody. And yeah. guess what? And Pimp. I don't give a fuck. But the thing is, Pimp represented the South 100. 100%. I'm just asking. Come on, man. Yeah. We got yeah, man, Pimp. Come on. Man. If, if, we, <laughs> if you, if you, you <laughs> picked Eminem a while ago as one of your favorite rappers. But, uh, hold, on, hold on. Let me, let me okay. say this. Go for it. Take it to the South. Had, if we don't, we, it ain't no take it. If you had a chance to take it to the South. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> if, you had a, if you had to pick, if Pimp C was still living today, and Eminem was in the studio, and he went to oh, this studio. Man. Hold on, and Pimp went to this studio. Who makes the hardest song? Pimp C. <laughs> yes, sir. Chad Butler, that okay, is. Okay, I'm, Chad just, Butler, I'm, that just, I'm is. just asking because I, I know, know how to know bring it all the way out. Like, you know what I'm that's saying? Why I didn't say Jay Z for no reason. I said that because he was the first one to come my way and fuck with you and fuck the UGK. But that don't make him the best, nigga. We he been doing the, that way before we Jay Z right. came down here. Don't even play right. us like that. Hey, don't play with Jay though. What Jay ain't but, Jay ain't from the south. Don't play with Jay. Hey, don't play with Jay. You don't tripping. play with Pimp, nigga. Right, right. Don't, don't play with Pimp. Hey, don't Pimp don't play with Pimp. Pimp. Shoot. <laughs> nigga, no. He didn't what? Go to, he, Pimp, did Pimp C go to that video? He didn't want to. He didn't have to. He had already made a few. It was the best thing for his career. Listen, man. No, 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 what? Ride dirty. We were. Good with riding dirty. That's we could have gave saying. it to the south. Niggas still getting reason. money. And I'm, I'm gonna be I real with you. Niggas getting money a bit, He married a girl from Houston. Okay, but that's why I respect see, Jay Z. Say that again. Hey, I respect the whole hey, that's he, what's wrong with that girl from Houston. Houston. Okay. That's the only reason I be giving him his flowers. All I'm saying you know is I'm saying, hey, yeah. remember who you are. That's all I'm saying. I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with what I know. I don't know for sure. I'm gonna be real with you. When I y'all a little younger than me, but when I was listening to music, I was listening to pimp and they be hating on slip before all of this. Okay, be hating on what happened. No, for sure, but what I'm saying is slip Sadie. Oh, Jay Z, Jay Z, nah, not you, not you, not you. Jay Z made about. pimp 
No, Jay Z ain't made no pimp. Jay Z ain't made no pimp, my nigga. I said you made no pimp, my nigga. He said Megan Jay Z didn't make no pimp. See now, in the East Coast, they were giving Nas. See, bro, Jay Z. I don't give a damn. Wait, let me just say this. Let me say this. Let me say this before you go there, bro. You you a little era up. I'm gonna say LL. I know music. I'm gonna say LL. Big Daddy Kane. I'm gonna say music. You see what I'm saying? Did they put Pimp C on the song? No, what I'm telling you. Did they put Pimp C on the song? Niggas ain't put it. Hell no. They didn't have to. Jay Z didn't have to. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. this. You a real Let nigga, ho. Let me ask Jay-Z you this. Tripping, Do Pimp C, is he a, a starving artist if he don't do a song with Jay? No, but it helps. And, okay, and let me ask you this. Y'all, why y'all talking in the South? Why y'all, South listen, why y'all talking and running your mouth? I still, I'm <laughs> scarred face back over here. Oh, Because I'm going to be real with oh, you. Y'all shit. y'all playing games. We really, okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> y'all playing games. Y'all want to be from the East Coast? Pull one leg up, nigga, and go get your three dice. Because you're dealing with the wrong nigga over here. <laughs> right, right, I'm right. a Southern nigga that listen to Southern music. Okay. Master P. I'm going to be real. Oh, Stop playing games. Are you mad? You rush me. You rush me. Stop playing games. Hey, you can talk over me all day, but now you, you, you uh, okay. you're the worst, nigga. Okay, so you listen. are the worst. So listen, this is what I'm saying. Let me talk. <laughs> Let me speak. Don't cut me off. Respect me. Oh, God. Hey, you are the real nigga. You are the Hey, so listen. So listen, bro. This is what I got to say about it. New York is the mecca of hip hop, right? No, listen. Don't, no, don't make the faces. Off. Don't make the faces. Don't. New York. Is lit. Jay Z didn't have to reach to Pimp C. Oh, let him let, okay. let him go. Jay Z didn't have to reach to Pimp C. It's a lot of artists. Wrong about Name one it. artist in New York that reached out to Pimp C <laughs> and UGK. Name one artist in, that did that. Nobody did that. Jay Z broke the code. You have to respect that. Yeah, he, he put did. Texas. He, he respected code, our man. way. So in whoa, New York, whoa, no listen. Whoa, I looked in the letter. In whoa. New York, in New York, their thing is New York. Let you me know tell, what I mean? Let, like, let, they let, don't give a fuck let, about let, nobody let else. Say, let me say this. It's man. New York versus everybody. It don't matter versus what West you West Coast versus the South. Listen, let me stop. Anybody. Stop. Let me talk. Master I P. go right back to Scarface. Master you P cannot too. get around Scarface in the you time can. he had. Before Jay-Z ever was even doing all that he was doing, Scarface was making hits with, with Tupac and everybody and guess else. guess who the realest nigga on earth? You know what I mean? Guess who the realest nigga on earth? Who? Scarface son. He got a nigga along. <laughs> Here you go, Pops. I like yeah. that. That's yeah. real. But I'm yeah. just saying, don't tiptoe around Scarface and the Ghetto Boys movement. No, for sure. Even Jay-Z will tell you about that movement. I know, you but Jay-Z is a real nigga. That. Don't play with hoes, though. Jay-Z made some money, but Kanye made more. Easy, easy, easy. You, was it lung or a kidney? I thought it was a kidney. You heard that, yeah, didn't you? I did hear that. I heard that. Jay Z made a little money. Somebody had to get that. Jay Z made a little money. Kanye made six times more. Yeah, he did. <laughs> he didn't hear that. No, I didn't. He Check didn't hear that. Out, that is, repeat what you said. If I redid my top three, if I redid my top three, Jay Z, Master P. And then Slim Shady. Yeah, because he forgot about Master P. I forgot. I forgot, he bro. He forgot about Master P. I no, forgot about the Master Man. Bro, on, huh? let me tell y'all something, man. We in Texas, bro. If you if you ever, ever go up to New York and you get an interview, send me back the, I want to see the footage, how they treated you so with so much love. And, uh, yeah, that's the way it's supposed to be. Because we trying to come together. No, for sure, but yeah. man, in New York, I would have been in Bum rush that what? <laughs> like what you say about my name? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying y'all gotta definitely uh you, you just gotta you just gotta know where you're at, bro. Man, come on, bro. Y'all gotta do y'all job. If to be honest with you, man, there's a lot of work that need to be done with self healing in the South. I see it, bro. Man, we, we from coming busy. back from LA to come in here. I love I'm gonna LA. just be real. Can I, I be real LA. with us? Yeah, be real. Can I be real with us? Like I was telling Big T, we just look miserable sometimes. It's from the outside looking in, though. It's not from the inside you looking out. You talking about just Dallas? Just some people in Dallas, the way yeah, that they you ain't even... talking about Houston. Hell no. Houston, no. Some niggas in Houston no, be like... Oh, yeah, you ain't talking about Houston. Man, Houston, Houston. Houston. Houston could care less. They like on another planet, nigga. They, they don't, don't play them games. games. They don't play, they don't play they them don't games. They don't play these games. Period. They don't play these you games. You're not going to go down there, pop trunk on you, nigga, and laugh at you if you from somewhere else. They don't give a damn. And guess what? Man, they, they got so, their own culture, their own way of doing things. They care less about that. I book. feel you, but what I'm no saying is, nowhere else. When you come to Houston, there's a certain feel you get, and the people respect you for what nah, you're doing real, in Houston. Bro. So don't play yourself. You know what I'm saying? Yep. We got to do better for us as a whole on Texas of coming together and supporting each other. Period. All right, let's talk businesses. Let's talk success. Okay, let's go. Hey, in Atlanta, we have a restaurant. It's called Seafood Nation. Hey, what's Seafood, seafood Field. Name, 
Woo. seafood field. My pops got a restaurant. We got live lobsters, crab legs. Where in Atlanta is it? Oh man, we on the south side by Zone Six, East once Atlanta. You, once you fly in Atlanta, you put East seafood, Atlanta. You put seafood okay. field on your GPS. Oh, you gonna get the and it's good. What? Oh man, New Orleans drove driven from New Orleans every week. Y'all do catfish week. every week. What everything? Lemon pepper. Lemon pepper catfish. Everything. Okay. Whatever you want. We gonna try it cause we going to Atlanta. 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 We gonna, gonna make it a special for y'all. We going to uh, make sure you make sure you uh, get this number because y'all gonna get the. We gonna do that. The special okay. deal. You um, feel me, you, man? He gonna can... interview too. My pops a hustler oh, now. Give uh, okay. how, how can people get a hold of you? At Young Nation on Instagram, my number two one four five four seven head ass. You can get a hold of me at Yung Nation on Instagram for shit show, and then on top of that, you know what I'm saying. My number is four six nine. Three six head. <laughs> hey man, I love hey, y'all personality. Man. No, I can no, tell you that. Let, let I love y'all chemistry. Man. Yeah, and and we we love y'all. Period. Mm -hmm. Period. Y'all y'all good people, man. Me we gonna you. rock with y'all. Yeah. God did. <laughs> Say man. No, I'm saying this. God did. No, he they did. didn't believe in us, but God did. Now you think you DJ Khaled. Yeah, I'm Khaled. tired of it. We coming yeah. up here. <laughs> <laughs> now I love that message that God didn't believe it's in really us. It's really true. It's true. Khaled. That's when people, yeah, you gotta give Cali his flowers. He be putting it down for real. Bro, let me tell you something. I people, love DJ Cali because he always in Jamaica representing. See? Real talk. Always, always, I, and I'm gonna tell you something. Always. When you said that hip hop thing, about him, I have to argue with this woman. She said hip hop come from Jamaica. And it not started from a Jamaican dude. Y'all look it up. Uh, see, Please, look it up. That's why I was laughing. That's why I was laughing. Like, okay. she, uh, uh, you look it up. It is. She done put it on me Maybe before. This boss talk might be right. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, see, so who the hottest podcast? Oh, come on, man, stop. Bro. I gotta ask you questions okay, now. You think you're gonna get on We're about to shut this down, but you you tell me where you went in a see, podcast. See, DJ Cool Herc. Listen, listen. And he's Jamaican. I'm gonna be real, listen. say she's killing y'all. Bro, we, uh, uh, look. Uh, bro, uh, uh, well, academics killing y'all. <laughs> well, <laughs> Vlad, oh. Vlad, no, 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 let me stop okay. it. Wait, 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 let me, let me stop it. Hey, we only been doing this for right. one been year. Doing this for 10 years. We only been doing it hey, one look. year. We only did this for hey, years. Look, 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 look. Vlad don't count. One year. You see, you you gotta look at the bright side. I'm comparing y'all to the one year to what every, right. You know what I mean? Right. Just remember, world. look at the bright one side. One year, ten I've years. I've been watching y'all for six months. <laughs> we only been there a year. You been what? I've been watching y'all for six yeah, months. I peep that. I peep that. Who you comparing us to? But then when you look right. at when you look at analytics and you look at how Ooh, we've been growing and we've only been doing in. it for what a year and a half now compared to people like what are you saying? People have been doing it for a long time. It's, yeah, you I'm know. gonna be real, you know. Ten years. Yeah, I got a way better. You ain't start. seen these microphones and cameras wherever you be in, nigga, because I know what the set look like in here. Yeah. We spend that money, nigga. <laughs> yeah. I know the set killing them. So hey, man, this is Boss Talk 101. You've been a Boss Talker size man. This has yeah, been man. another great segment of Boss hey, Talk we 101. Back. Look, we're coming back. Look, we're coming back. Bosses talk, and we out. Hey.